My name is Preston Roars. I run the wood shop at Icona Guitars. I also do all the CNC programming and CNC operations. And today we are going to talk about a neck that we are building. For this particular neck, I called for a mother of pearl inlay on the headstock. So we're going to start off by locating the mother of pearl blank onto the machine and getting it zeroed. This machine is incredibly accurate. It has an accuracy of one one thousandth of an inch. And this particular bit that we're cutting the, the pearl out of is 23 thousandths, so it's really, really small. We're going to start off by cutting out the iconic logo out of the mother of pearl, which gives us time to, to clean it up and get it ready for installation. Now we're getting ready to prep the neck for the, the CNC. We're gonna tape it down. We use a really strong double stick tape. It's actually pressure sensitive and it sticks to the table really well. After that, we're going to drill out the fretboard locate markers, the mother of pearl dot markers. I like to countersink the holes a little bit, which creates a little bit of a funnel and allows the dots to really fall in nicely. We use super glue and a small dowel and a hammer and just tap them into place really gently. Tap all the dots in except for, I leave two open and that's how I locate the neck back onto the machine for when we flip it over and cut the neck profile. So at this stage, we're gonna cut the tuner holes, shape the headstock. After that, we cut the fret slots, and we actually do a blind fret slot, which helps prevent any fret sprout. And now at this stage, the headstock is ready to receive the mother of pearl inlay. And we just use a, a medium to thick super glue and press it in nicely. For this step, since it's a really intricate piece and a lot of curves have to line up really nicely, I use a block to apply even pressure across the entire logo so that no one side is getting too much pressure, which runs the risk of breaking. Once the neck is off the machine, all the fret slots and radius have been done, we go ahead and drill the side dot markers and on this particular build, we're getting lumen lay side dots, which are really important, especially for players playing on, on stage a lot that are playing live. It's very common for blue or green lights to kind of shine on the side of the neck and you completely lose the side dots. So the glow in the dark markers are a really nice touch. glued in with wood glue, we trim them flush and get ready for the neck profile. Mm -hmm. 